what is going on everyone i'm sure many of you have been wondering where i've been the last few days uh it's been a crazy crazy busy week uh we actually had a little bit of a surprise funeral um to attend for a family member in oklahoma they were a little bit older so it wasn't entirely shocking but definitely a little bit more sudden so we were visiting family up there uh or i guess down there and uh really just spending time with everyone that we kind of don't really get to see all the time on top of that we had a ton of flight delays lots of random stuff happening but we're finally home and i was unable to record anything or or, or really um share anything that was going on with the account i have been playing every single day and i want to give you all an update don't really want to talk too much more about the other stuff as it's much less exciting than what we got going on with the account as uh, as I said, I've been playing every single day. And so those five days or six days or whenever I posted a video last, that day essentially, I, I flew out like middle of the day. And so <clears throat> we have been playing ever since, doing everything every single day with the exception of a few of the energy claims and some of the web store claims as uh, we didn't really have <laughs> the internet uh, to be able to do it in some cases. But I think last time I left you all, I was level 71 and now I am level 74 and we've been having a ton of fun kind of diving into all the different things that we were kind of closing the the gap or, or I guess you could say finishing off certain farms in preparation of the Tarkin event uh, for, you know, five star executor and then eventually the Zeta challenge, which is happening next level, right? 75 is when we unlock the new Tarkin challenge and it is Monday right now, and so we are going to have to wait until Thursday, and so that's exactly when we should be able to go ahead and be able to dive into a five-star executor. So that's pretty exciting. On top of that, we have, as I mentioned, the Zeta Challenge coming pretty quickly thereafter at level 78. So what have I been doing with all of that? Well, we actually have finished off a lot of different things. We have a ton of ships kind of ready to go now we have the geo soldier at five stars kind of still getting the shards for those geo spy up at five stars we have the tie fighter up at five stars we have the sun feck up at four stars halfway through i think by the time thursday rolls around i should be pretty close to getting this to five stars and if not we'll have to wait till i believe it's sunday um or, or saturday let me check here because uh i think the fleet challenges are slightly different than the um other challenges this is friday monday tuesday friday monday tuesday friday uh monday wednesday saturday i think it's saturday when it all opens i'm actually not 100 percent sure uh but there, there uh, maybe it's a sunday actually maybe it's just sunday when um the all the challenges open again i, I don't remember for the fleet challenges but we will just try to do it then as we need the five dark side ships so the sun fact one was was going to be the one that was kind of lacking behind in terms of the farms that i had been doing the other one was well we needed to get the ones from the cantina tie fighter and the tie silencer so the tie silencer is something that i've been farming over the past well day or so um none of the other ships are really going to become close we have vulture droid which i've been farming for well who knows how long same with ig 2000 slave ones only at four star the tie bomber is not close the tie advance is not close the razor crest is not close all of those ships are not close and so really the, we're gonna have to rely on the tie silencer and try to upgrade that one in order to get the executor now with both the fight tie fighter and tie silencer I am not going to go ahead and upgrade them yet uh, until we actually, you know, go ahead and unlock Tarkin. Uh, and then I'm going to continue to farm the TIE Silencer, of course. But if I don't have it at five stars, I can't even use it anyways. There is a small chance if I get incredibly lucky um, around the Slave 1, as we have been farming it every single day. If I find a bunch of shards from it from the shop, I actually could potentially get the Slave 1 up to five stars before the TIE Silencer. And so if that does happen, then I will just upgrade the slave one as I don't really want to upgrade Kylo Ren on mass if I don't have to, because I'm not really going to be using him for any specific team, whereas the slave one and Boba Fett I'll be using, uh, well, for my executrix. Uh, I say, did I say exec? I've been saying executor the whole time. Um, I bet it's for the executor, but the executrix uh, <laughs> is, um, you know, 
something that uh, I'm working on right now. I'll be using him for the executor. Uh, IG2000 is super, super far off. So not something that uh, is extremely relevant right now. Same with the Razor Crest and all that type of stuff. As for the Geos, you might notice they're actually at gear seven now, and I have been dumping a lot of resources into them um, lately as I have gotten their abilities upgraded to six and sevens. You can see they're up at, you know, as much stars as I could take them, gear seven. I did put level 12 mods on all of them just because, well, it's kind of the middle ground where if I were to go to 15, yeah, I would get a lot of big bonuses, but it's almost three times the cost. And so I didn't want to do that. So I just put level 12 mods on them to upgrade my ships. Uh, you know, getting to 15 is a minor boost for a lot of cost. And that has really helped me stabilize in arena, fleet arena, as I have been able to keep under 100 as of, well, the last two weeks. So that's really, really important because any sort of advantage I can get that's uh, accumulating is pretty big. And for this one in particular, the 50 fleet arena currency is huge because after, you know, well, eight days, I get essentially a free fleet arena purchase. So every 16 days I get two and it's been about 16 days, maybe a little bit less uh, for that. So I'm, you know, already have, have accumulated two additional purchases from fleet arena shop. And that might not seem like a lot, but this is one of the most important currencies. And I, as you can see, have. 1765 i have been holding off on purchasing a lot of things from this shop because i really have been picking up all the ships that i need to get to five stars first i have been picking up a lot of the geos as well if i have any extra currency right like right now i have a little bit of extra currency um, i again try to keep it around like 800 to 1200 most frequently of course i have another bunch of currency there are 1200 currency coming tonight so when we have this refresh hit i'm hoping that we're going to see like some slave ones some tie advanced some geos and then i'm gonna dump all the currency in there because i'm just going to get more tonight uh, and that's kind of been the plan but this is really really important uh because although i have all the geos and i have you know like i can even purchase the tie fighter in here which i probably will once i finish off the tie fighter pilot from the cantina node uh, there's also all the other ships right like umbar and starfighter the big star glider uh, heck even picking up some random characters from here or even picking up you know some ability materials later on the more currency we can get from this shop and the more close i can get to finishing off this shop the better not that it's gonna be like quick or anything like that but well the quicker I can, the better. Galactic War, of course, I've been just buying up any geos I see, as mainly the geos appear here. After that, well, it's kind of been the standard practice. We did get the territory battles canceled, which was a little bit unfortunate. I'm not actually sure what they're going to be doing. Again, I wasn't in the loop in terms of news and such over the past you know few days. I don't know what compensation we're going to be getting for that, as I don't have any additional guild event tokens and so that's what i imagine they would be giving us maybe they'll give us like max rewards for something i don't know but i'm hoping we're gonna get something good for that on top of all that on top of all of that i have been really really diving into kind of wrapping up the phoenix squad so um the phoenix squad right now if i look here at my squads are pretty much all gear eight at this point with the exception of i believe chopper as one of his pieces of gear was a little bit tricky. Um, oh, I can, let's just go ahead and equip it now. That's a gear eight chopper, boom. So all of them are gear eight now, and that gives me a full gear eight squad, and we're still just progressing with their shards. Now, for the events, I probably will pause uh, on their gearing and just try to do it with a Zeb right now, as he's the other one that I have at seven stars. Because Captain Rex is going to take so long, I'm probably just going to have to do it with Zeb. I'm still going to be farming all these characters, as you can see, Sabine and Hera are actually getting close to finishing off. Same with things like General Veers, as I've still been farming all of them. And more recently, I have been really crunched on energy. Especially if you do not claim every single energy every single day, you really start to feel it because, well, you might know this. I just recently unlocked the tier eight light side battles, and that's a Django Fett Hound's Tooth node, as well as the Xanadu Blood, both of which are a must farm immediately because they are ships, which means I'm actually gonna drop some of the character nodes that I'm farming right now 
because I need to farm these nodes. Uh, any ship node takes massive priority for the most part. Uh, I'm still going to be doing, you know, the, the farms that uh, are kind of like core to my accounts right like the Hera node for example that gives me the ghost that's like a really good node but things like grief cargo for example this is a node that i've been farming as it is necessary for me to get the executor but well specifically best garmando for the executor but it's a little bit far away like i don't need best garmando anytime soon and so there's no real reason for me to be farming it consistently and sacrificing other farms um i didn't verzio and the vulture droid i would actually like to continue this one as well again any ship node is very very important as the vulture droid well is a separatist could work really well with the geos General Veers is almost finished as you'll see 90 of 100 so that'll be a nice little thing to wrap up uh and then well i'm still farming like ig 2000 admiral piet but I, I did drop the Y-Wing Starfighter. This one, I, although I do want to farm it, it's not really extremely necessary at the current moment. I just need to kind of focus on the farms that, well, are mainly progressing my account and then any ship nodes that are very, very much in the, well, immediate requirements. So any ship that's basically preventing me from continuing down that path specifically for executor are the ones that are taking priority things like y-wing things like you know any ship that might not either fit into my team directly in the short term to midterm or are in for any requirements in the midterm to long term are kind of taking a back seat right now so that's kind of where i'm at big stuff all right we've got a lot of progression done in the last five days and i have a lot more things to share but uh, while well, this video has already gone quite a little while for an update video for you all, but I wanted to share where I've been, what I've been doing, and uh, what I've been up to. So haven't quit the game. Don't worry. Still here. Still here. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you all for the next one.